Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how I texture this sword in Blender. So first we open this image. Uh, right click then edit to open this image in paint. Click here on the color picker to select the color, the first color. I'm going to click here, then use the pencil and I'm going to draw, draw a little square here in the corner. Then I'm going to select another color. And the final color I think we have a, another color for the edge for the edge of the sword like this so I'm going to select it with the color picker and draw a square here Now I grab this corner like this Now that you have your your full colors just uh, click save Okay, now let's go to Blender. Okay, in Blender, we are going to assign a material to all the parts of the sword. We are we already have a default material, so we go to shading. Now in shading, you click, uh, you press on your keyboard Shift plus A, the A key, and search image text texture. Click open and select your texture. Here in this option select closest. Now go to UV editing. You press a C the C key on your keyboard and select material preview to see uh, your, how your textures look. Now press tab to enter edit mode. Press A to select all. Press A again to select all. Then S to, uh, to scale and zero on your keyboard. Now you press G with everything selected and you can change the color. You, you move your UVs into the color that you want to select. Now I'm going to open the, the reference image to see how is the color placed. Okay.
you also can change the options here if you want to look uh, metallic you can change the roughness If you can if you can see the UVs on the on the UV editing just press U on your keyboard and and click on wrap. Now it's the same you press A to select everything then S for the scale then zero and now you move the UVs to the color you want. Also, you need to remember to apply the material to all the parts. I'm going to create a new material for this for this part because this is not metallic. Now for the edge, I'm going to select and, uh, all these faces, you press C on your keyboard and then click all the faces you want to select. Now when you, when 
with your mouse on this side of the screen you press G to move and move the UVs to the Y square For this part you need to apply the modifiers first. Now you select everything and press U on your keyboard and then unwrap. Press, press S to scale then 0 and move. Okay, now for for uh, exporting to Roblox Studio, we need to make sure that the model is less than 10,000 uh, tries triangles. So click here, then click st statistics, and you can see how many triangles your model has here. I'm going to deactivate this uh, subdivision modifier to reduce the triangles now select everything go to file export fbx on path mode I like to select copy limit to selected objects and scale I use 0 0.01 then click export FBX
Ok, now in Roblox Studio We add a new mesh part Then go to Mesh ID Then look for your FBX file Click No Ok And as you can see you have your fully textured sword in Roblox Studio. If you have questions or you want to request another tutorial, uh, please leave it in the comments or join my Discord server. Also you can download the files for this sword from my Discord server on the downloads channel for free. And as always, thank you for watching.